Hi! In this tutorial, I wanted to go through how you can actually edit assets from the marketplace or wherever you've got them from, from somewhere else uh, in Blender that you have in Unreal Editor. This is an example that I came across today, which um, I'm just going to show you. I have here a fence and I have a hill that a fence is going to live in. I've been building some environments and uh, this fence is lovely. Uh, these are the, from an asset pack called Low Polish Snow Forest, which is lovely. Um, but if I wanted to edit or do anything with this fence, I can't really do anything with it. So if we were to go and have a look at uh, the fence, it's actually a U asset. So I can't really edit it or do anything with it. So for example, I'm going to now create a, uh, a lovely fence. Um, which is not going to be incredibly believable because you don't build fences like this and it's not going to be to the right size. I mean, the asset pack is great. It all looks fantastic, but it's not it's not what I want, right? So I'll show you my workflow of getting kind of what I want out of this. So I'm just going to put another thing there and another thing there. So basically, I'm just going to lay them out a little bit better um, in in the engine to show how how I'm going to export it. So uh, now we can see this is kind of how I want it to be. That kind of looks all right. They kind of let's space this out a little bit more. So yeah, there we go. So that's fine. So now we have a number of problems here that I can't fix in, in Unreal Editor. So what we could do is export individually and get more modular things. Uh, but what I'm actually going to do is going to grab all of this. So now you see I've, I've grabbed all of the items. I can actually right click on them and I can find convert act actors to static mesh. So I'm going to convert those to static mesh. Let me put this in the props here just so you can see it. Uh, call it static mesh and it's going to be full fence, right? And now you can see it's created a single static uh, mesh here. So this static mesh is now got all the bits that I want in it, which is pretty handy. But it's still not what we want. But we have now this as one static mesh. That's great. So what I can actually now do is I can do asset actions and I can export it as an FBX. So you see I've actually exported this before, but let's call this fence hill uh, as an FBX. Let's replace it. Great. Export it just using the defaults. Now what I can do is actually get Blender and import it. Let's just delete this. In Blend, I'm not going to go into a tutorial on how to use Blender by itself. That's There's plenty of tutorials on YouTube that, that cover that. But let's just have a quick look how we can do this. So let's, uh, let's uh, delete this. And now we can go Import FBX. And if I go to my uh, fence hill here, uh, there we go. So we actually have our fence in here. And we can start editing this. And okay, so there we have it. We've now edited the, the fence to our liking. I mean, it's not the greatest thing, but at least it looks a little bit more unique, right? So now what we need to do is export this back out. So we could go File, Export, FBX. Uh, we can go to where we're keeping our, our things. So I can do Fence Hill, uh, just can just override it. Uh, I can do Selected Objects because that's what we are want to export rather than everything else export as fbx great so now if we head back to unreal engine we can actually go and get uh re-import this so if we go to re-import it's going to be asked from where 
we select um, our exported FBX, import it back in, and now when we put that in, we've got our modified fence looking pretty damn natty. And now we can delete our original asset store bought items and replace them with a lovely customized fence from asset store bought items, essentially. Hope, hope this has been useful. Thanks.